This week we'll be going over the whole gang's here achievement in Fallout New Vegas. This is for finding and recruiting all of the companions that are available in the base game, which there are eight of, and they're all gonna have their own special requirements or quest lines that you have to go through to actually recruit them. Some of them even have special conditions that if you do those things, they'll no longer follow you, making this achievement one that you're gonna wanna do before you get too far in the main story. And now, let's get into it. Now getting into this, I'll go through each of the followers, any special things that you need to know about their preferences when it comes to karma or faction rep, and then what you're going to need to do for them to actually join you. Because of their preferences, you really need to go after this achievement early on and make sure that you don't get locked out of it from allying with certain factions. So first up, we have our little robot friend, EDE. While EDE is with you, it'll give you the Enhanced Sensors perk, which extends your detection radius, basically giving you a full 10 in perception. It also allows you to target cloaked enemies and vats. With the Lonesome Road DLC, you can even upgrade it to give you additional perks listed here with each of the upgrades you get. You can find it in Prim on the counter in the Nash residence needing repairs. You can do the repair either with a repair skill of 65, a science skill of 55 plus a repair of 35, or using three scrap metal, two sensor modules, and one scrap electronic. That last one is generally going to be the easiest way to do it early on. EDE doesn't really have anything else required to get it to follow you and doesn't care about karma or any faction relations, so don't worry about scaring it off. The second follower we'll get is another semi-robot friend, Rex. Having Rex with you will get you the perk Search and Mark, which will highlight food, chems, guns, and ammo, or containers with one of those in them, green while zooming in or aiming down sights. Now, Rex is like 75% robot, 25% dog, but 100% loyal to you after you take him from the king. Of course, that means you'll have to head over to Freeside and go into the King's School of Impersonation and talk to him about Rex. To start the quest, ain't nothing but a hound dog. And now, the King is gonna let you know that Rex is having some issues, so you'll then have to talk to Julie Farkas over at the Old Mormon Fort, which we'll be returning to for our next follower. And find out that there's a doctor over in Jacobstown that specializes in this type of thing. At this point, you'll talk to the king again, who will send Rex with you, and you'll be able to take him to Dr. Henry in Jacobstown. So Henry will say that you need to find a new dog brain to give Rex. There are going to be three options for this, which all give Rex a stat bonus of some kind. Ray's brain, which you can get from the Gibson Scrapyard, which will give Rex plus 25 attack damage. Then there's a Violetta's brain over at the Fiend camp near the Poseidon gas station, which will increase his speed by 50%. And finally, the last option is Lupa's Brain, which you can get over at the fort, and that one is going to give Rex plus 10 to his damage threshold. I of course had already killed Violetta on my way up to Vegas, so I had been carrying around that brain for a while. I guess I had it iced or something, because Henry thought it was still good. And Rex seems to be doing just fine. Right boy. Now with one of the brains implanted, you'll finally have Rex officially recruited as a companion, and he doesn't really care what factions you side with. Moving on to the third follower, we have Arcade Ganon, who is over in the old Mormon fort of Freeside. While he's with you, he'll increase your health recovery from consumables by 20%. Arcade has a lot of ways that you can get him to come with you, but the most important thing when it comes to him is that he despises the Legion, so he will not join you if you have good relations with them. As long as you don't have that, then your options to recruit him are having a high reputation with the followers of the apocalypse, completing the High Times quest and giving Julie Farkas the needed medical supplies, passing a speech check of 75, having the confirmed bachelor perk which is the easiest way to get him early on, or if you have an intelligence of 3 or lower, he will take pity on you. Temporarily reducing your intelligence before speaking to him works for this, so it can be a fun way to do it if you're able to. Then our fourth follower is Craig Boone over at Novak. While he's with you, you'll get the spotter perk, which will highlight all hostile enemies in red while you're aiming down sights. Just like with Arcade, Boone really dislikes the Legion, so he won't come with you or continue to follow you if you side with them. So of course, as long as you're not doing that, you can talk to him and start his One For My Baby quest in order to get him as a follower. He's gonna ask you to find out who was responsible for selling his wife to the Legion, 
so that you can bring them out in front of the dino while he's watching and wears beret to signal that you're with the culprit. So to do this, you're gonna need to head into the Dino Bite gift shop at night and get into the floor safe in here. You'll then be able to find the bill of sale which you can read and use as proof of Genie being involved. Then you'll just need to go get her and tell her to come out front with you, wear the beret, and boom, Boone will shoot her. You can then go talk to him again, explain that it was the bill of sale that proved it, and you can have him then start following you. Then for our fifth follower, we have Lily Bowen over in Jacobstown. While Lily's with you, you'll have the Stealth Girl perk, making Stealth Boys last twice as long and giving you an extra 10% damage on sneak attack critical hits. Lily doesn't really care what factions you're working with, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma! In order to actually recruit her though, you'll need to start the Guess Who I Saw Today quest by talking to Dr. Henry about the Night Stalker problem. He'll suggest taking Lily into their den and finding what caused them to start turning invisible. So you'll need to go do that, find the chewed stealth boy, and come back up to Dr. Henry to talk to him. Go through the experiment talk, deal with Keen, and then you can talk to Lily again and she'll agree to follow you. For our sixth follower, we have the Ghoul Raoul, who can be found over in Black Mountain. He'll give you the regular maintenance perk, which will cause your items to degrade 50% slower, and you can then upgrade that further through his personal quest. In order to actually recruit him, you will of course have to free him from imprisonment at Black Mountain. This is an area ran by super mutants, or at least one crazy mutant, Tabitha, and you'll have to kill your way up to the actual compound. You don't necessarily have to kill Tabitha, but either kill her or repair her Mr. Gutsy so that you can then free Raoul. Then you'll just have to talk to him and have him come with you. Nothing too special there, and he doesn't have any strong feelings about what factions you actually side with. Our seventh follower in the list is Rose Cassidy, who can be found over at the Mojave Outpost. She'll get you the Whiskey Rose perk while she's with you, which allows you to drink alcohol without having negative effects. It also raises your damage threshold by 2 to 6 points when drinking whiskey, and 3 to 9 points when drinking tequila, depending on your survival skill. In order to recruit her, you'll need to go up to the Crimson Caravan Company and talk to Alice McLafferty to start You Can Depend On Me. You won't have to fully complete this quest, but just do some jobs for Alice until she asks you to go talk to Cassidy to buy out her caravan. At that point, you can go to Cassidy at the Mojave Outpost and try to convince her to sell through a variety of different dialogue options. Once she agrees to sell, you can then also recruit her to be a companion. Nice and easy. The only thing that Cass doesn't want you doing is getting too low of negative karma, or then she'll leave you. The eighth and last follower required for this is Veronica Santangelo over at the 188 Trading Outpost. She'll get you the Scribe Assistant perk while she's with you, giving you the ability to craft workbench items through her dialogue options without being at a workbench. When it comes to getting her to follow you, there are really just a couple of things to remember. When you talk to her initially, do not talk bad about the Brotherhood of Steel. If you do that, she'll end the conversation, and that'll be it. You also need to be sure not to get too far on the bad side when it comes to your Brotherhood relations, or that will also cause her to leave. Other than that, you really just have to talk to her, and she'll actively be asking to join you, and all you have to do is accept her. And that's about it when it comes to getting the whole Gangs Here achievement in New Vegas and all of the base game followers. With that one done, make sure you check out my Fallout New Vegas playlist for my other New Vegas guides, or whatever video of mine YouTube recommends. And as always, make sure you like the video, and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed.